go to the starting lineup for the final regular season game for these teams on senior day for Washington State. Wallach, Ledger Walker, the team's leading scorer. Johanna Hedar, Ula Montuga is a fiery cultural center for Washington State. And Bella Marika Tete, who is a leading scorer and rebounder, one of the leading scorers and rebounders for the Cougars. Williams, Littleton, Marshall, Mira, and Akumwafo starting for USC. So there's been a, a change. Allison Mira warmed up. She will not start. Marshall and Marika Tete will jump it up with Washington State winning the tip. And this team has surprised a lot of people, but perhaps not Washington State. Knocking off UCLA on their home for floor for the first win ever in the history for the Cougars at Pauley Pavilion. America Tete goes head to head with Rhea Marshall wins the battle. Well, you bring Rhea Marshall away from the basket because you're not going to get a whole lot of looks with Sissoko and Rhea Marshall. They're great paint protectors and rim protectors, but that's a nice ball fake by Bella and hurt her off the bounce. It's a battle we're going to want to watch all afternoon. Sissoko is strong to the Similar move at the other end of the floor with Sissoko. And Sissoko coming off a great game with 19 points against Washington. America Tete kicks it out. Great ball distribution by Washington State, and they make them pay. That is Tadar. Well, she was one for three on Thursday at UCLA, and she hits this one early, and you can't let her get going. It could be dangerous for SC if Tadar steps out, especially as far as she did. And look at this run, Tracy. Ledger Walker to America Tete. She lost her grandmother earlier this year, made two round trips to New Zealand, did Ledger Walker. Which is not easy flying. You are right, Tracy, the toll that that takes. And there is Littleton getting her first points of the game to close the gap to two. Well, and that's a three, and that's really big. I had mentioned the last three or four games, Littleton was four of 27 from downtown, but you still got to guard her because you know she can get hot, and that's one of her shots. Great ball movement. Head on. Sissoko not able to get into a rhythm yet. So somebody other than Sissoko has to pull the trigger. That's Dumbia, but she's off the mark, and here comes the Cougars. And Rhea Marshall on the bench for USC. They're giving Clarice some minutes as she had to when Rhea Marshall was out with an injury, and Ledger Walker makes that drive look really easy with a nice touch off the glass. USC has to avoid trying to trade baskets with the Cougars because Again, points. They defended the Bruins really well. They executed, and this is a team in Washington State that is good enough to win, especially in the fourth quarter, and that's where they want to be. One minute, in the first quarter. One minute in the first quarter, five point Cougar lead. USC, that's Littleton. Littleton's literally taking things in her hand. Tuhina checks in, and Clark for Washington State. If depth is something that Cami Anthony said we didn't have in the past, we have it now. We'll use it, and our team is fresher for it. Has shown a lot of poise against top-tier teams, especially at UCLA on Thursday. Ledger Walker, the fadeaway. Clark knocks it out of bounds, and it's going to go to USC. If they exchange the guards for Washington State, there will be some switches by SC. They're capable of doing that with their athleticism and their communication. Williams with the ball. You can see Littleton telling her to just slow it down. Use some of that clock. A little modified Iverson cut there. Big B. A put back by Sissoko. Caddy Sissoko. And that will do it, but Sissoko, the key put back to close the gap to one after the first quarter. Washington State leaves. Bella Maricatete started off the game with a pump fake and a drive through the lane and got to the rim when USC is a very, very good rim protecting team. USC is kind of forced up some shots, but they looked good the last two and a half minutes of that first quarter. Marshall.
Marshall with the basketball there, hoping that she finds her offensive game again. That ball off the mark. Tough, tough sledding for SC in terms of field goal percentage. And there's the drive, and unguarded, attacking the hole is Tara Wallach. Now you continue to see Washington State doing what they want to do. Could not be shooting more poorly and, and taking not the shots that they really want to take. Again, uh, only 47 points in the win against Washington. Or make a donation of any amount at charityforpledgeit.org slash Tammy B. How are you doing on that? We're close. We are closing in on our $25,000 goal. And again, thank you to everybody and, uh, who has participated in one way or another. What a great month of February it has been. And, um, you know, my heart is very full, and I hope everybody else else's heart is full as well. There's certainly life-changing events happening in the month of February, something a little bit bigger than basketball. But we've used basketball to do it, and I think that's a great road and a great path. I saw Ray and Marshall come up to you and shoot around yesterday for UFC and said, I'm going to get you some bucket boards, yep. get you some rebounds, so you're going to have to contribute, and she is as well. Five-point Cougar lead. USC trying to find some offense. And it is not there. They're very good at staying in motion. And when you stay in motion, you're hard to guard. There's a mismatch at times, miscommunication. She comes off ready to shoot. Edra Walker, of course, her mom was an Olympic basketball player. Played in the 2004 Olympic Games. Her sister Christy also played for Washington State. Washington State, of course, enjoying the two-time All-Pac-12 Ledger. Walker America Tate gives it a look. Her touches in the paint this year are far more quality and more efficient than they have been in the past. USC cannot thread that needle as many times as Williams tries. She has not been able to get it to go. Grace Sarver is in for Washington State. Ledger Walker runs into Marshall. America Tete on Marshall. America Tete again wins that battle. Yeah, she's just putting on a clinic. Bella is really having her way. That was a great low post. It's a four out one in single guarded action there. And I thought they executed well against UCLA. And they're getting that this afternoon. Marshall has it now over America Tete. This is going to be just a treat. USC has come out with a very frenetic defense, but Ledger Walker nails it for three. Littleton gets space. Rebound Ledger Walker. That's not a shot that you're looking for for SC, and then they'll come down the other way. America Tete now in double figures with 10 for the Cougars as they enjoy a 12-point lead at USC. Washington State has never swept the Southern California teams in the Pac-12. In the L.A. area. And they beat UCLA on Thursday. And again, would make more history if they win against USC. USC is just out of sorts. Like, they just want to continue... Cougars have made six of their last six. Talk about red hot inside the Galen Center. This Cougar team is on a mission. Maybe playing some of the best basketball in the Pac-12, and of course Utah as well. Marshall knocks it out of bounds, and it's gonna go to the Cougars. Right now, we're having a bit of a difficult time finding points. They can't get in transition, they can't penetrate. And Washington State is just starting to find their rhythm. 18 from long distance. Confidence breeds confidence. Estera Tuhina, the color 18 and the freshman. Well, under Tammy Etheridge, it is now expected that Washington State make the NCAA tournament. They've made two in a row, and they're hoping to make their third, which of course would be history. Sissoko coming out, trying to find some offense. They've made seven of their last seven. And Southern Cal, 0 of 5. Trying to open it up from outside. 
see Soko with the rebound, throws it up in the air. A little volleyball going on here in the Galen Center. Under a minute to go. Wallach, they step back from guarding Wallach. But Sissoko comes in for the rebound. Marshall again, just pushed too far away. Good weak side rebound by USC's Dumbia. Yeah, that's a hustle play there by Dumbia, who wants to get in the action. And that, that's just fighting for it on the offensive side of things. And the put back, tough put back. Ledger Walker will hold it. There's a just about a fraction of a second for the shot clock and the game clock. Dumbia guarding Ledger Walker as Clark tries to set the pick. Littleton gonna let it fly. But not enough as this team from Pullman, Washington. What USC team are we gonna see coming out here in the second half? And Cami Etheridge expects a run. You can tell she she is just waiting for it from USC. Meanwhile, the Cougars are going to work right away. Merka Tete with the basketball. Merka Tete again, but Marshall gets a hand on it. So a little tougher, intense battle in the paint. Well, they forced her to go a little bit more underneath the basket where that was a tough angle. She just didn't have the straight up shot. And that's a good start for USC is to get Marshall the touch, the early touch, get her going. They need to get some points and some boards from her. You know, one of the keys for the game for USC is can we make tough shots? Two person game on the right side. America Tete with the spin move underneath the ledger. Walker, how did that happen? And Tammy, if Utah wins, there will be a tie atop the Pac-12. Well, and they will have a share. Utah will have a share of that Pac-12 conference championship. What history Lynn Roberts and that program will make for the first time having an ownership of that Pac-12 championship. And look at Gianna Neepkins. She can feel it as she goes out with 27 ticks left. It certainly isn't over, but boy, what an uphill battle. Down by nine. And they picked up where they left off. Littleton being assertive to the bucket. She had 14 points in the win against Washington. Ledger Walker gets a screen from America Tete. Ledger Walker pump fake. She's so good at that. Ledger Walker. And this just in, Lynn Roberts and University of Utah has made history where they beat the Stanford Cardinal by six points, 84-78. Congratulations, as those two teams will share the Pac-12 regular season championship, a live look in there. You are seeing history, Tracy Warren. This is just the love of Pac-12 women's basketball. Predictably unpredictable. You never know. Ledger Walker posts up low. Has it blocked by Marshall. Great interior defense by the Trojans, and here they come. Williams tries to thread the needle. Has it blocked by Merrick Tete. So defense, full screen pressure by USC. And it works. Marshall. Marshall gets her own miss. A Washington State to take that corner shot. And if, if you're going to go ahead and throw that one up after you break the press pretty early, then, then go for it. But you better be ready if you miss for USC to run the other way. And that's what they did. They end up keeping the ball in their possession. And then just an easy bucket there for Sissoko. Double team again, full court pressure. Sissoko on the run. Uh, overpassing by USC. <laughs> oh, too, so, too unselfish, too unselfish. Dumbia had a layup. Sissoko thought she was absolutely gonna go up for the layup. That won't happen again, Mark my words. That just won't happen again. Uh, Dumbia looked at her and she said, my bad. Oh, oh, oh. Littleton trying to answer. Tadar with the rebound. Every time USC gets an offensive run, it just can't 
piece it together. Well, and the Cougars have an answer, right? Wallach just stepped up big and answered. Not with a two, but a three. And that's the danger zone that you get when you're going to swap twos for threes. And now Ted R with a three. And good things happening for Cammie Etheridge and the Cougars, a team that is surprising nobody with Ledger Walker who plays without being uh, with her family. I mean, she's a difference maker and she's got a lot of great players around her. Rhea Marshall picks it back out as she is double teamed in the paint and that will open things up when Rokia Dumbia can hit from the outside. Ledger Walker, the battle for the outside, and has it knocked away, so it's going to go to USC. And trying to solve this Cougar defense to get some points on the board for the Trojans. She threads the needle, and now she'll get to the line. Dumbia has just been getting better and better and buying into what this program wants to do. And when she was ready, she made a statement. Coming in and playing very, very good minutes off the bench. She's great on the offensive glass. Full court pressure by USC. Handled by the Cougars. Tuhina is helping run the point. She has the basketball right now, the freshman. Lumbia playing great defense. And Marshall knocks it out of bounds with five seconds to go on the shot clock. Got to take care of the ball. If you are the Cougars, you got a ball fake pass. If it's open, don't wait. If it's not there on the second one, if you hesitate, don't make the pass because USC will get in the passing lane. Three seconds to go. Two seconds to go. One second to go. And there is another shot clock violation. You know, UCLA didn't go on any runs against Washington State on Thursday. When they played UCLA and USC up in Pullman, both of these LA teams had a couple runs at Washington State. Now, they didn't have Ledger Walker. And this is something right now that USC is trying to do, and that is to go on a run on their own, and they need it. Marshall gets the 10-footer, fired up Sissoko, who is trying to get her team energized by playing some great defense. A 12-point lead is just not comfortable enough. Not against a very good defensive team that ranks about 12th in Division I in terms of scoring defense. Sissoko's putting a lot of work on the defensive end. She has been running the floor. Ledger Walker give and go to America Tete. Pump fake, count it, and a foul. And that's a good finish by Bella. America Tete, 77% free throw shooter. She is on senior day here at USC. One of six seniors who came out, and the Trojan family celebrated all that they've contributed. Five on the shot clock. Marshall kicks it out. Big B. And she is fouled. Big B, a 70% free throw shooter. A transfer from Oregon. She's originally out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And in Las Vegas, Nevada, we will be playing the Pac-12 tournament coming up next week. She's been sidelined by injuries when she played at Oregon nine games. Last time these two teams met, Big B, 19 minutes, but she did take it. Washington State will inbound the basketball. That shows between 12, 14, and 15. Cougars. Ted R. Not good to go, but USC slowly climbing their way back in. And congratulations to Lynn Roberts, the entire Utah program, uh, the University of Utah community for. Um, Achieving history today with a share of the Pac-12 regular season women's basketball championship in beating Stanford on what was a great match and one that had a lot of buildup and it delivered. But Utah down the stretch, they made a lot of threes, they made the free throws, and they executed the game plan. Executing the offensive game plan is going to be key for the Trojans as they've got some catching up to do. Shot clock winding down. Oh, good drive. Good lead for the Cougars to 10. Hard to keep her off the floor when she's playing the way that she is at the defensive and offensive side of things. Well, you see her cut that ball, protect it, until she had the finger roll late. And I feel like the energy from USC has just ramped it up a little bit on both sides of the floor. Shot clock 
Frank at four. Again, another shot clock violation. Even on a drive to the basket, Sissoko has the ability, if she gets beat, to still reach and get a clean block. So she was stranded, and then you force Ledger Walker with no time left. Full court pressure again by USC. Nice pass out of the trap. It had to be quick. America Tete. Marshall changed that shot. Cougars looking a little hesitant. I like the way they broke the press. Littleton failing. And the lead is cut to five. But they have to handle. USC's pressure, something they haven't done well in this uh, fourth quarter in the last couple minutes of the third. It has been all fourth quarter for the Trojans as they have stepped up their intensity. Merrick Hatete is triple teamed. Bella at the free throw line, and Ray Marshall will get called out with her fourth foul. Fourth foul, so Adika comes in, Merrick Hatete at the line. And Marika Tete is in double figures with 14. She leads all schools. And now with 15 to extend the lead, 46-39. Again, Marshall out. And there is the driving by Dumbia. They are putting the pressure on the Cougs, drawing them out of their defensive shape, getting to the free throw line. All the things you have to do to claw your way into a game. Dumbia, fantastic at the line. The lead is five. More full court pressure by USC. And they throw it away. And you just can't make that pass against this USC team. You have to know the personnel. Floaters aren't going to work. Dumbia is fouled. She'll go back to the line. Is this happening getting to the free throw line. It's a smart play and they're clearly the coaching staff talking with the players in the huddle reminding them of what works and what isn't working creating the habits boy with Lindsay Gottlieb and Beth Burns at the brain trust at USC the defense is working it's pretty good brain trust Tracy Warren. and another turnover by the Cougars and they are slowly coming on a lot to play for, as you can see it. Littleton with the basketball. Dumbia has been a difference maker. Akumwafo. Sissoko gets room. Did you think that Galen Center was about to fall in our lap and jump up if that shot fell, Tracy? Ooh, dangerous pass. Ted R with the shot clock winding down. There's the clamps by USC. Now, Lindsay Gottlieb was not happy at halftime. She said we can improve on every facet of our game. Fiery, likely halftime speech because the Trojans have come alive here in the fourth quarter. There's a turnover by USC. Ledger Walker. Quickly the transition defense by USC is back. And that is all Ledger Walker right there. Great battle here. Sissoko on America Tete. And she is fouled. Something special. Oh, Charlize Ledger Walker, thank you for making this game so entertainment, so entertaining with your passing. Sissoko, a 71% free throw shooter. That's just her seventh point. They lead the Pac-12 in defense. It is paying dividends here against Washington State. Tammy for the Cougars offensively. How do they solve this? Well, first they break the press and they handle the pressure, and they're not handling the pressure, and that's another turnover. 18th turnover. 
for you for Washington State. So they have doubled up. They had nine in the first half, and now they've doubled up their turnovers. Littleton. And it's going to come down to the final three minutes. <laughs> Both of these teams, prospects and likely for the NCAA tournament. Both of these teams jockeying for position for the Pac-12 tournament. Motuga, one-on-one, -on -one, loses that battle. America Tete to Ledger Walker. Boy, it seems like every time the Cougars touch the ball, there's two Trojans around them. Motuga. You have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, and you you can't. You got to be in control, right? And and so and the Cougars have just had too many passes that have been picked off, and she so good ties this ball game at 48. If I'm the Cougars, I'm not making any one-handed passes, and I'm not hesitating on any pass, and I'm using my ball fake. To handle the pressure of SC. They cannot afford to have any live ball turnovers. The Trojans are feasting on picking them and trying to run for easy runouts. Ledger Walker gets the roll. Huge. That's a veteran play right there. Littleton wants it. She's got fire in her eyes. He's so cool as a block, but a foul. No surprise there. They are both mature and having played at other universities the wealth of experience been there done that one point game possessions counts like a walker For two, Ledger Walker, both trips down the court. Littleton. And that is key. Washington State comes up with the ball. Motuga up to America Tete. And she is fouled. USC looking to sweep the Southern California teams for the first time in SoCal. Coming off the win against UCLA on Thursday. America Tete makes it a four-point ball game. Dumbia did a lot of talking in that timeout. Littleton will inbound the basketball with under a minute to play. Twenty-one on the shot clock. Dumbia kicks it out to Big B on a broken play. Washington State, wow! Michael Wafu is on Ledger Walker. Remember, it was Wallach who hit a key three against UCLA to help win this game. That's a Walker going to use as much of that clock as she can. Off of Sissoko. up with the basketball and we've got a foul and has the frame of mind to attack the glass yeah. Yeah. makes it a one point ball game yeah. and we've got a tie ball game 15 seconds left in the game. Shot clock is off. Cougars with the basketball. Ledger Walker. Guarded by Akhonwafu. There's the one out. Four in. Ledger Walker. Put back. We're going over time. Five minutes. Win this thing. USC cannot overlook how good this Cougar team is. They got Ledger Walker, a playmaker, big time. 
The Cougars have to handle the pressure, Tracy. Cougars won the tip. Condition side to Merica Tete, and she is fouled. And we've kind of seen a little bit of both in this as Merica Tete goes to the line. Merica Tete with 17 points so far. Three players, double figures scoring so far for USC Sissoko, Littleton, and Dumbia. Decision. Littleton with the rebound, put back. See Soko rebound, put back. See Soko again. You have a new clock. You have a new shot clock at 20. Offensive rebounds for USC. They are killing the boards. Eleven offensive rebounds coming into this overtime to three versus Washington State. Stolen by Tedar. Good luck there. That, that's a live ball turnover just going the other way. If she gets that ball stolen and she stays within that play, she may have a chance to do a quick foul or even guard Tedar. Keep in mind, Marshall has been on the bench for this latest USC run as we've got a America Tete third personal foul. And Sissoko on the line. Sissoko, a great free throw shooter. Yes team's leading rebounder. One point ball game. And Walla cannot get free. She is trying to create space, but she cannot get free. Either can Ledger Walker now, guarded by Sissoko. Steps back. That is her shot. Two time all Pac-12 player. First team. Is Ledger Walker. Big B spin move inside and she is fouled. Shoots 72% from the charity stripe. These two teams have turned it up. And we're back to a one point ball game. Washington State knows how to win in overtime. They did it and they beat Oregon at Oregon. Wallach. Well, they left her wide open on the outside, and then they tried to cover her, and she cut the distance. Good luck by Wallach. Bigby the kick out. Tadar picked up her dribble. 12 now. Offensive foul against Merica Tete. And you've got Sissoko in. You've got four rebounders in. Doombie is going to crash the glass. She's an offensive rebounder. If Littleton puts the ball on the floor and go, there could be a kick out as well. Could be an offensive board three. If you're the Cougars, you've got to box out. It has to be one and done. But I think they're going to go downhill. Littleton with the basketball. Really taking up a lot of time. Sissoko with the miss. Their shot clock violation. And they were counting on Adika to get the weak side rebound with that last shot. Ledger Walker will inbound the basketball. One second left in this overtime. We're going to try to get Bella to the basket, I would think. And we are going double overtime here at the Gateway Center. And Washington State will win the tip. Second double overtime. Pac-12 women's basketball in this final weekend. Stanford and Colorado on Thursday. Took two overtimes for Stanford to pull out the win. 
Washington State's got to find a rhythm offensively. They just in that last quarter, they nodded 7-7 with USC, but have not been the Washington State we saw in the first half. Three on the shot clock. Give and go with Sissoko. Screams for the ball. And got a whistle and a foul. Adika, if you are Ted R, so she just tried to do what she's taught to do. But got called for the foul. And that's a that's a big free throw there by Adika. Who now has four points in this game and is slowly helping the Trojans kind of take control. And again, Washington State slow to get into their offense. Almost waiting like 15 seconds or less to get into their offense. Tadar. Clark has a look. Clark, immediate impact. Yeah, the pick and the roll executed. Nobody went and followed Clark as she rolled down the lane. That lane line was wide open for her. That's a lob for her to the basket and a drop step layup. Sissoko going to take on Clark. Sissoko still to win that pass. To the wide open, got it! The defense switched, and then Littleton fell to the ground. And how about the headsy play to put the ball in Matuga's hands wide open from three? Courageous shot by Ula Matuga, courageous. Littleton crossover dribble and has a block by Wallet from behind. And a record versus the net. Teams between 1 and 25 at 3 and 7. Key wins for Stanford, Colorado and Oregon. Nine seconds from the shot clock. Dumbia kicks out to Sissoko. Got it! Caddy Sissoko gives USC the one point lead. Play call, execution, didn't have to throw up a late shot clock shot that was wild or anything. They got the baseline jumper that they wanted. Tedar has a good look. Uh oh, just missed. And Lindsay Gottlieb tells her team to slow it down. Timeout, Tammy Etheridge. First of all, you want to make Washington State make a very, very tough shot. You got to deny pressure. Mitchell Walker has the basketball. The switch. Dangerous pass to Ted R. Back to Ledger Walker. And USC has it. Sissoko has room. Sissoko. 